Get a weekly summary of the best things to do and see in Gloucestershire with what's on Kirsty. Bosley writes that my trip to Beckett's farm shop in Whitehall, near Birmingham, made this very clear if I hadn't realized that the grocery industry is in turmoil right now. While I was standing staring at large green savoy cabbages, a middle-aged couple came running up to me, the woman holding a jute M&S shopping bag. Thank God, after walking 10 miles in the scorching Sahara, he proclaimed as if he had found a source of fresh water. She grabbed a large bright red pepper and handed it triumphantly to the man she was shopping for. She couldn't find it anywhere. She explained to the salesperson that, like a desperate parent struggling for a bottle of prime, she'd nearly run over to snatch it, bought a chili of my own that I didn't need, just in case I'll never see it again. The woman had me caught in all the pre-apocalyptic panic. Read next. Hundreds of Clarkson's farm fans demand council to allow new parking at Diddley Squat Farm I use. Come to Beckett's try most of my big shop. With supermarkets announcing the rationing of vegetables and social media flooding with people. Claiming they couldn't find tomatoes anywhere. I wanted to see how a local farm shop was doing. The floor was colorful. The shelves were filled with groceries. For pound it's sacks oranges lavishly filled. A bag 10 Polish apples for the same. And smattering pineapple for 99p. Courtesy the guy from Del Monte. Evesham tomatoes. 8 pounds and 99 pence per pound yellow and red cherries. 6 pounds and 49 pence per pound large vine tomatoes and 3 pounds and 99 pence per kilogram classic loose tomatoes were proudly displayed on a stand. For one pound and seven pence I bought a vine of generously sized red cherry tomatoes and they smelled so good that I accidentally ate last wonders in the car on way home. Speaking of, I've had them in the basket too. The dark red seedless ones for one pound. So far things have been on par with or cheaper than my local supermarket. But that didn't last long. I was very pleased with myself for shopping the right way. So much so that I also put in my basket a, well done me, tub of 5 pounds and 99 pence cappuccino ice cream from Bennett's at Manor Farm in Worcester. It wasn't for me, I told myself, it was to benefit society. For the pantry, I took my lazy dinner of pasta and sauce. A jar of tomato and garlic sauce was a steal for £3.49 and a bag of conchigli pasta for £2.89. I continued shopping. Ready meals including casserole, country pie and lasagna were £5.99 each or two for a tenner. More expensive than M&S but your money goes to a smaller business. I continue to examine the prices. A bottle of award-winning cider from Pershore Press £3.99. A cask of olives from large casks £4.99. Six large free-range eggs £2.49. Three gun-grade baked potatoes £1 and red. Green and yellow £2.49 for three bell peppers. At the cheese counter. I received impeccable service from a lady who welcomed me as a friend and talked through some options. I chatted with another customer and on his recommendation I bought a small block of XXX Mature Fowler's Cheddar for £4.48. For £4.05 I added an irresistible piece of mushroom and garlic cheese, making it my favorite buy of the day. For £1.50 I bought three fresh mini cottage loaves and ate them uncut with cheese and grapes like they were from the Middle Ages. Unbelievable. I didn't buy meat, but I looked at what's in the butchers. Large fatty sausages were £9.99 per kilo. And 100 grams of honey toasted ham will set you back £1.69. Striped bacon is tagged at £9.99 a kilogram. Gammon and bacon are the same price. And ground beef is labeled £10.98 a kilogram. Cat dog food, toys, Easter eggs, cakes, nuts and more. 
as well as lots of gifts wine filled the shelves. I made mental note to try bottle of Halfpenny Green down the road next time. But for £14.99 bottle and basket with £10 worth of cheese in it. I couldn't justify it. I left happy with the products I bought. Fresh and delicious. But I couldn't help but get angry. Neither at the friendly farm. Nor at the producers whose food costs much more than their supermarket counterparts. All are required to receive a fair wage. They have their own bills and smart efficient, warm-hearted employees to support. However, I was annoyed by the system, which meant it was much more expensive get products to my door than ship from a farther location. For argument's sake, I could get a bag of conchigli and a jar of dolmio from Asda for two pounds. To be clear, I didn't want that, I wanted to support farm the local growers, regional businesses. But just think, from April this year, the national minimum wage will be 10 pounds and 42 pence. This means that those in that pay class will have to vaccinate for more than half an hour to get a simple packet of pasta and a jar of sauce from their local farm shop. Is this true? Why does it have to be so hard to support each other in our own community? You can find Beckett's Farm Shop at Alcester Road, Wythal, B476AJ.